If you don't like politics, I guarantee you, this is the only video that will not bore you. Because this guy is the most controversial person in US politics right now after he was exposed to have faked his entire life. Hello, Congressman, it's Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> Yes, it's so crazy, it's like a freaking comedy movie. New evidence of lie. George Santos, who's admitted lying about his past. By now, it's been pretty well established that Santos is a liar, and he should definitely resign. See, George Santos just won the elections to become a New York congressman, and only now are people starting to realize that almost every single thing on his resume was faked. From his religion, to his education, to his career, to his achievements, to even the way his family members died. It's so crazy that the jokes are writing themselves. Now I'm running late for my appointment with my gynecologist. <laughs> So, how did he do this? See, this was the image he sold to voters during his campaign. A 34-year-old Republican who is an inspiring example of the American dream. We have a fundamental obligation and moral obligation to leave a better country for the next generation than when we found it. He introduced himself as an openly gay child of Brazilian immigrants who studied at New York University before becoming successful working at Wall Street and whose mother died in 9-11 and whose grandparents survived the Holocaust. For a Republican, he was very unique. As a gay man, I stand proudly behind not teaching our children sex or sexual orientation. And it would have been all right if his history was all true, but he didn't realize you can choose your own opinion, but you cannot choose your own facts. Soon after he was successfully elected, the lies started getting more exposed, and many big news outlets started uncovering them one by one. Like the fact that apparently he had no records attending both the high school and colleges he claimed to have studied in. I put myself through college and got an MBA from NYU and I have zero debt. He even lied about playing in a volleyball team. We went to, to play against Harvard, Yale, and we played them. He also had zero records working at Goldman Sachs and Citigroup like he first showed off. He faked the story of his family owning 13 real estate properties when in reality he was just living with his sister. He shamelessly lied about the way his mother died during 9-11 when in fact his mother was found to be in Brazil at that time. And he also proudly shared about his grandparents' Holocaust story. Mary, my grandmother then fleeing Hitler. Or being Jewish himself. Himself. As I always joke, I'm Jew-ish. <laughs> Both of them also not true. Have you ever heard of a clothing store that exists to help people and not make profits? Well, you have to visit our store, honesty.global. A unique humanitarian clothing where you get to choose who you want to help while buying amazing high quality clothes. It took us two years to set up this store and I cannot express how proud I am of the designs, the quality and most importantly the fact that you can shop with purpose. If you appreciate what we do, please support our charity work by visiting honesty.global. Back to the video. Just imagine if you have lied on a resume to get a job. You would automatically, without a doubt, get fired right? And yet, this guy had secured a congressional seat with his web of slimy lies. George Santos was also exposed to have performed as a drag queen in Brazil, a claim he first denied but later on admitted anyway. I was young and I had fun at a festival. And let me be clear, 
There is nothing wrong with being a drag queen. But for someone who now stands against LGBTQ plus laws, the hypocrisy is just hard to ignore. I think he should resign. It's a disgrace what's happened. It's, it's shameful. He's just a liar. How can you believe anything he says? And I don't even know what's crazier. That we didn't even mention yet all of his bad lies in this video. I have no comments for you guys. Or that until now, this this man refuses to give up his position. I will not resign. I will be continuing to hold my office elected by the people. Resign! Resign! Because Snidefam, if a huge liar like George Santos can fake his way into big government office without any consequences, we are doomed. And who knows, maybe your country will be next. Because in times when your social media image is everything, this is no longer just about America. It's about how our standards for leaders these days are just getting lower and lower. I'm not a fraud. I'm not a fake. I, I, I didn't materialize from thin air. Earlier I said that this story will not bore you, but let me rephrase it. This story should anger you. Because you deserve better. You deserve decent. You deserve, at the bare minimum, someone who tells you the truth.